maestro himself, Yisrael Lam, one of the world's most amazing conductors, somebody who has uh, been involved with and has seen everything in the world of Jewish music for a long, long time. Yisrael Lam, when you first heard of a Jewish music hall of fame, what did you think? Well, I thought uh, in a lot of ways it was long overdue. It's a great venue, a great opportunity to present the Jewish music of the good old days. Uh, you know that when it comes to halls of fame in the world of professional sports, one of the greatest activities for fans is to argue or at least discuss who should be in and who shouldn't be let in. Do you think there's going to be that type of a dialogue going on now that there'll be a Jewish music Hall of Fame? One of my first reactions was, I think that this show would have built-in advertisements because before and after, everybody, you know, we're not going to satisfy everybody. And there are going to be people who say, you should have done this, you should have done that. And it's going to be a really hot topic of conversation. No question about that. Uh, we're with Yisrael Lamb. We're talking about the big Makar show. It's happening on the 27th of February. And it's going to be a Jewish Music Hall of Fame show. Now, uh, Yisrael, they, they are uh, touting that uh, 60 years of Jewish music uh, will be featured uh, on that night of February the 27th. You know that it is, it is I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even say almost impossible. It is impossible to pack 60 years of Jewish music into a three-hour show. And, and you're working on it. You're working hard on it. What can you tell us about what will be included and what needs to be included if you're looking at 60 years? I guess we're just going to touch on different uh, people, different performers, different time periods. I, I, like you say, we can't cover everything and we can't do every song that was great and every performer that was great. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do the best that we could and give everybody a flavor of what it was. So it's not only a discussion of who's in or out the Hall of Fame. It's going to be a discussion afterwards. How dare you not include a specific classic or how dare you not include a specific artist? It's going to be an interesting reaction from the crowd now that someone has definitively said that we're establishing a Jewish Music Hall of Fame. Seriously, well, you know, you got to take it a little bit tongue in cheek. You know, this is not the official Hall of Fame. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just sort of a opportunity to give credit to people. And hopefully there'll be more, and eventually everybody will get into the Hall of Fame. Nothing, uh, nothing breeds publicity the way controversy does, Israel. We're trying to yeah. ramp it up uh, here yeah. before the event to get people, get people to start really going back and forth in terms of the songs and in terms of the artists. Now you have a different right. perspective. Most musicians and performers are facing the crowd. You're facing away from the crowd, and really, uh, you're more involved actually on stage uh, with the performers. You don't have, I mean, I wouldn't say completely uh, that you have uh, no interaction with the audience. I wouldn't be fair, but you certainly are concentrating more on what's happening in front of you than what's happening behind you. From your right. perspective, do you think you have a, uh, a different point of view or a, a, a different uh, way of looking at things, the way things um, develop on stage compared to the way the artists and musicians who are looking out at the crowd? Not really that much. Uh, first of all, even though we're facing away, conductors face away, you sort of sense, you know, what's going on, this, this rapport thing. You sense what's going on out there. Yeah, you know, when something is good, I think we all feel it. When something falls flat, I think we all feel it as well. Doesn't matter which way you're facing. You get, you right. get the idea if things are going right. well or not. Right. Uh, you, you've worked for a lot of uh, great organizations. You've performed and have, uh, and have given your time for a tremendous number of causes over the years. You're familiar with Makar. I would imagine that with their mission, with what they do every single day, it uh, gives you a little bit more juice going into a show like this. So when you know that this performance, it's a great performance, but it's helping people, then the show that makes all the difference. Uh, you know, we talk about 60 years. I'm sure many people out there are curious how you view the difference or the uh, comparisons between decades ago and today in Jewish music, I know there are a lot of things you could say and a lot of things you could cite. Give me oh, yeah. one or one or two that come to mind that are obvious to you in terms of uh, with the way things are today in 2022. You know, music changes over the years. That's true. But in each time period, there were some great songs that stayed and it stayed in memory. And uh these are the ones who remember. And many people say, oh, there's nothing like the music of, of then. Right. Yeah, but let's say we took 10 songs from the 60s, and those are the songs that stayed. And those are the songs that stayed great. 
there are probably 10 songs in this decade that 60 years from now will, will be remembered as great songs. So what we're really doing is we're taking the best of those 60 years and, you know, hopefully everybody will consider them the best and just present a lot of good music. We all relate through music to the times then. You know, the experiences we had then, we're reminded of through the songs that we hear. And there are a lot of good experiences that we remember through song. And I think, you know, nostalgia. We're going to hear a lot of nostalgia. No question about it. It's going to be quite a night. People from every generation are going to enjoy this and they'll look back at it as an amazing start to a Jewish music Hall of Fame. Yisrael Lam and I, Nahum Siegel, invite everybody to purchase tickets, be at the big event February 27th to benefit Makar. Go to makarconcert.org and to be part of Jewish music history, a night that will literally look back at Jewish music history. Yisrael Lam, we look forward to your conducting, your starring, and your uh, being the musical director on the night of February 27th. Thanks for joining me. Looking forward as well.